I have courageously volunteered to um, to undergo some acupuncture. Um, this is an unusual situation because at this point in time, I don't actually have tennis elbow, and I hope not to have it when we're done. So, uh, but anyway, I just kind of want to want to show everybody the the basics of how you know, how, how needle placement is done, and uh, kind of you can discuss. Help us understand the whole concept Sounds behind great. this uh, this acupuncture thing. Great. One of the one of the first questions I always get asked is about the needles, and they ask me, um, you know, are the needles sterile? Do you reuse needles? Things like that. One of the things we do here is we don't re reuse our needles. All of our needles are um, single use only. They come in a little package like this, and um, in my case, I have uh, four or five needles that are packaged together because we rarely put one needle in. Um, so all my needles are single use only. Once we open them up, I'm going to take one out so we can kind of just take a look at that needle and just sort of see what it looks like. And I don't know if the camera can get a good shot on that. It's almost hard to see, right? It's really, let's see if I can give you a little backdrop there so you can kind of get a, a good view on that. These guys are about the thickness of a cat whisker. So they're pretty darn thin. I don't know if you can get a good look on that. Maybe if I give it a good bend, that kind of helps you see it a little bit. And you can see they're pretty strong. For the strong. record, that needle's no longer sterile. <laughs> yes, we'll not be putting this needle in him. <laughs> but you can see how they're kind of a wire, and they're kind of, you know, pretty strong there. And again, each of these needles go in sterile. We will not use this one. It's that old system of... Um, the meridians, because that helps us to understand how these muscles line up and go together. But I'm also a modern uh, bodywork practitioner, and so I use a lot of the neural lymphatic concepts and joint concepts and muscle concepts and that thing as well. So I'm going to use a couple of different strategies for choosing why and where I want to put the points. One of the old strategies that we like to use, though, and I love the name of it, um, it's called surrounding the dragon. And whenever we get an area of pain and what, what um, Dr. Nochi here is mimicking for us is something that's called an epicondylitis, or we call it tennis elbow. And a lot of times it causes a focalized pain right up here on the elbow, and it relates to muscle tension that slides right down here in the arm. So as an acupuncturist, what I want to do is I want to first try to eliminate that inflammation right around that site, and then I also want to relax the musculature that feeds into that site, because it's these muscles that are pulling on that, causing its problem. So today I'm just going to pick a couple of points just so that you can see what the points look like going in. But I'll let you know that I would probably put a couple points on either side and then I would put a couple points in these muscles and then I'm going to add a small current to those needles. This is what's called a microcurrent. It's a very, very small amount of electricity. In the old days we might heat that needle up with moxa. If anybody's seen the Karate Kid movie. They've seen the moxa used, right? And they'll heat the needle up with a little moxa, and that stimulates the needle a little bit more. Modern days, we have new tools, and those are the um, electricity. The neat thing about the microcurrent, um, what it actually does is microcurrent stimulates the mitochondria in the cell. Inside the cells, they produce an energy. Your cells use a fuel called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. Um, it uses adenosine triphosphate to um, create a muscle contraction or stimulate the muscle contraction. It's a complicated process of calcium in the sarcomer and so on. We won't go into that. It's the but rocket fuel of it, the cell. It is the rocket fuel of the cell. And that microcurrent actually helps to stimulate that ATP production in the mitochondria of the cell and helps to make these tissues healthier. So the first thing you saw me do was sort of tap that needle into place with a little guide tube. That helps me put the needle exactly where I want it. Once I've got it into position, I'm just going to slide that needle down into the muscle belly. And then what we'll do is we'll actually work that needle just a little. Working that needle a little catches those collagen fibers in the muscle and bends them a little bit. And it creates a little bit of a current in there that tells these tissues where, or remember those fibroblasts we were talking about, it tells them where to lay down their newer and stronger fibers. So now we have a couple of needles inserted in his arm, and you can see how these are. These needles are about an inch and a half long. Um, we don't go all the way down to the needle belly, but they get in there pretty good. So far, 
I'm good to go. <laughs> now, if I were to contract this, I might actually bend the It'll hurt right a little bit, yeah. It's in the, it's in the muscle. So I'm going to yeah. try not to contract my extensor <laughs> muscles on my forearm. He's got a few different layers of muscles in there, and if he contracts that, it's going to catch that needle in a couple of different positions, and it usually does not feel good. Now, the neat thing is, is that these needles don't break off inside the body. Um, I needle horses and dogs, and when the horses get needles in their big muscles, they kind of move around a little bit because they're not sure what's going on there. And sometimes those needles come out bent, but the horses don't even break them off. So if they're not breaking them off, I'm thinking you probably couldn't either, but let's not try. <laughs> right? So what the neat thing is, is once we remove these needles, is there is not even a droplet of blood that comes out. You almost can't even tell that the needles have been in. But what's going to happen for him is for the next 24 to 48 hours, that little needle site there is going to have all that metabolic activity going on, and that metabolic activity is going to heal. So if he has any tenderness or soreness in this arm, which, you know, he does use his hands for his living, um, that may actually help to relieve that and get that circulation going, stimulate those nerves, stimulate that lymphatic flow, and get that body to heal. So if I call in sick tomorrow, that's, that's what happens. Right. <laughs> we'll know what's going on. It's a forearm issue. All right, so there's our acupuncture demo. Excellent. That was fun. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Right. Excellent. Thank you.